if I may just uh, talk a little about the bank. Um, we've been very clear about what our intent is at Standard Chartered. We are guided by what we call the four strategic pillars of the network, affluent mass retail and sustainability. And below that, there is enablers. <clears throat> Technology being one of them and innovation. And people and the way we do our business. And for us, technology is at the heart of our standard chartered strategy, that we want to reach as many clients as we can using technology. And that is why you'll always find our network, our, our physical branches, in instead of increasing, actually is reducing. But the number of interactions has grown of 5x. When we started this journey before we launched our SE app, we used to open on average 200 accounts a month. Now we are doing in excess of 2,000 accounts a month. And the partnerships with the various partners, especially IPRS, we cannot underestimate the IPRS because IPRS enables us to be able to identify clients, know your customer, which is in our regulated industry, we must be able to demonstrate that we know you very well. And IPRS is really helping us. And we can't wait for the day IPRS will be updated because the day that will happen, we'll be able to do it, we'll be able to do even a lot more. But also we have other partners working with Safaricom, and uh, this is pivotal to them, Kraft Silicon and TransUnion. And this helps us be able to triangulate and be able to know a client very well. And that is the heart of what SC user will do. That by the time you, you apply for the facility, you are very well identified. Another, another area that we probably didn't do as well was the delay. There was a major delay because there were some major developments on the KYC side, know your clients, and access to data. Uh, about two years ago, when we were almost ready to launch, we had done everything. We were just about to switch on, and the last leg was going to Google and other international providers so that you can download it on your platform. And the, the response was there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's some data that we could no longer access because of because of data privacy. And that caused the, the significant delay that we've had. But we are very happy to be here. And this also marks almost the completion of our technology journey within the bank. We have fully digitized account opening. We do it all digitally today. You, join the SE, you, you launch the SE mobile app and you're able to open an account with us. Investment, that is wealth, if you want to invest whether locally or abroad, bonds, fixed income, I mean, uh, government treasuries, you do it through the app. That, that journey we have completed. And lending, whether it's a normal loan, you can also do it uh, through the app now, or credit card. So this marks the end. And in not in the too distant future, I can't wait for the day we will digitize mortgage lending. <laughs>